And I tell you what, it's places like this that make me appreciate how amazing Queensland is. Good morning guys, how are we all doing this morning and how good is this little spot here? I've just made it to the Paperbark Forest Trail just outside of the little town of 1770. And what a beautiful little spot. I can hear the beach, the waves crashing on that side. I can hear the birds all starting to wake up. And currently I've got the place to myself because I am here quite early. Uh, a bit later today I'm heading further up to Yapoon. So I thought I'd tick this one off nice and early and check it out. But Tell you what, I wish I had another day or so in 1770. It's a gorgeous spot. I arrived pretty late yesterday, just in time to catch the sunset. Got the drone up for a bit, which looked a bit loud. This. It is a beautiful little seaside town, which I'm definitely gonna have to come back to and spend a little bit more time. But for now, it's time to explore this paperbark forest for grabbing a coffee and heading on further north. We've got these little concrete stepping stones all on the way right into the paperbark forest there. How cool. Now these paper barks are significant for so many reasons. They provide food for animals like flying foxes, but also they were significant for a lot of the indigenous communities all across Australia. The bark itself, the paper-like bark, hence why they get their name, could be used as a bowl or something to help carry things with, that be used for bedding, or even to wrap up meats while they were getting cooked. So they're pretty special trees. The early wake up was worth it, but now I think it's time for some brekkie, then onwards to Yapoon. So of the towns that make up the Capricorn Coast and the Capricorn region, I think Rockhampton is the biggest. And just outside of Rockhampton is the Mount Archer National Park, which is where I am now. Uh, it's a pretty steep drive up there. Crazy to see so many people actually walking up the mountain. I drove up I'm on this beautiful little bushland trail. It's got heaps of gum trees and grass trees. And I reckon this lookout's gonna be pretty cool too. Everything the light touches is your kingdom. What's that shadowy place? That's Rockhampton. It is so nice up here and definitely worthwhile making the stop. It's only a couple of minutes out of the way if you're going from Rockhampton to Yapoon, so I definitely recommend it. It is serene, really peaceful, really nice. As I was driving up, I was thinking it'd be a good spot to fly the drone up here just with that view and all the rest, but there's so many birds around, they're all singing. It would definitely disturb them and ruin the serenity of the place. So I think I'll wait and try and find somewhere else a bit later to fly the drone. Tell you what, this place is already delivering the goods. Capricorn Coast. Can't wait to see what else it has in store for me. So I have just bypassed Yapoon. I did take a bit of a detour, but don't worry, I'll be heading back there later. I saw some pictures of this place called the Stony Creek in the Byfield National Park. So I made my way out here. A uh, pretty good road. The last little bit is a gravel road. The Lancer handled it just fine. So I'm pretty sure no matter what vehicle you got, you can get out here easy enough. There's a campground and a day use area, but the best bit is just behind me here. This creek is crystal clear and I think it's time to go for a swim. Like how beautiful is this, it runs all the way up there, all the way down there. You can get your own little spot to yourself, like I've got now. It's time to get in there. Ooh. It is gonna be a bit fresh, but I love a cold swim, no better way to wake up. It's nowhere near as cold as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually just about perfect. So, 
it looks all beautiful and clear until you kind of stir the silt up but still this is so refreshing it could not be a more perfect temperature plus it's a saturday and there's a stretch of creek for everyone like there's people 50 meters down that way 50 meters back the other way but no one in this little bit here got it all to myself i think this little swim was just what i needed today Awesome. Sony Creek, mate, gets a big tick of approval from me. All right, as nice as that was, it's time to carry on. All right, so after plenty of stops, I've finally made it to Yapoon, and I thought the first point of call would be to check out one or two of the lookouts, get a bit of a lay of the land, check out the Keppel Islands, which are just off the coast here, check out the bays, the beaches, just from a really good vantage point. So heading up to the Turtle Lookout first, and then after that, I might head up to the summit lookout right at the top here. There are turkeys absolutely everywhere up here. Also, I have noticed that my face is a lovely shade of red. I think I got pretty sunburnt the other day during the whale watch, so embrace my tomato-ness beetroot face. Don't forget to slip, slop, slap. Otherwise, you look like me, and you don't want that. These are some pretty legit views and there's only really one thing to do when that happens. So you definitely get a pretty good look at the Capricorn coast from up here. Absolutely loving my time here. So glad I can't to the summit. You got Kemp Beach and Yapoon behind there. Bluff Rock and the Keppel Islands out in the distance where I'll hopefully be heading in the next few days. I was supposed to do a Keppel Island tour tomorrow, but the boat broke. So I think I'm gonna try and reschedule something on the way back if I've got enough time. So the last point of call today, I've come down to the Yapoon Lagoon. There is no good way to say those two words together, but looks super refreshing. I think I'm gonna jump in for a quick dip before it gets dark. So the Yapoon Lagoon is basically an infinity pool right here at the beach. So you get an epic view, again, out over the Keppel Islands and all the rest. Probably wondering why I'm not swimming at the beach instead. The sun's just going down now and I think this has been a pretty good end to an epic day. <laughs> 